week's Bite Size Craft. Now before I begin, just want to remind you that if you want the craft items that we're using in the Bite Size Craft, then contact Carol Agnew. So what do we need for this week? Let's have a look. You'll need a glass tea light holder, a little tea light, some different colours of tissue paper. You'll need PVA glue, which I've put in a little cup here. You'll need a brush and some scissors. Let's get started. We're going to cut up some strips of the tissue paper. And while I do that, I'm going to tell you a little story. Now, have your mum or dad ever asked you to help around the house by doing chores? I can imagine they will have. Now when me and my sister, when we were little, I remember my mum asking us if we would go and tidy our room. And I said, yeah, sure mum. And I went upstairs and instead of tidying my room, I just sat in my bed and played a game. My sister, on the other hand, when she was asked, she said, no mum, I don't want to. I want to go out and play in the garden. But you know, my sister thought about it and she thought, I can tidy my room and then go and clean the garden. So that's what she did. She went up and she tidied her room and then she had time to go and clean the garden. But I felt really, really bad later when my mum went to have a look at her rooms. And well, my room was a mess. And my sister's room was nice and tidy. Right, that's us got our strips of tissue paper. What you need to do now is just cut them into smaller pieces, any size that you want, because we're going to stick these pieces onto our glass tea light holder. Now we've got all our pieces of tissue paper, I'm going to go ahead and glue them onto our little glass. Now remember, when you're putting on the tissue paper, leave a little gap at the top because we don't want to burn the tissue paper when we eventually light our tea light. So just go ahead and just be creative and apply the tissue paper however you want. I told a story earlier about me and my sister when we were asked to tidy our room I said yes, but didn't do it. She said no and did do it. This week in our Bite Size story, we heard a similar story. Chloe told us about the story that Jesus told to show how different people obey God and what God has called them to do. Do you remember the two sons? The father asked both sons to go and work in his vineyard. One son answered no, but went and worked. The other son answered yes, but did not go. In telling the story, Jesus wanted us to realise that what we do is more important than what we say we will do. Jesus wants us to answer yes when he tells us to love one another. But what he really wants is for us to love one another, not to just say we will and then not bother. Jesus wants us to answer yes when he says follow me. But what he really wants is for us to follow him. That's the kind of person I want to be. Here's my finished candle holder. Isn't it cute? You'll see that I've cut out a heart and applied that too. 
You could cut out any shape or just leave it with the tissue paper. Now before I pop in the candle, I'm going to leave that to dry. Now that my candle holder's dry, I'm going to place the candle inside. Remember and ask someone to help when it comes to lighting the candle. In the Bible, it says that before we choose to follow Jesus, we are full of darkness. When we choose to follow Jesus, we are full of God's light. When I lit this candle, I remembered the light of God. And because of that, I want to choose to do what God and what others ask me to do, including my mum when she asked me to tidy my room.